What's up guys? Me and Kyle decided it'd be a good idea to try to grill out for everybody tonight and kind of just get together at the shop. So Kyle's over here. Um, we got all of our um, universal chairs from the shop. We got a little $50 uh, dip grill from Lowe's over here and we're trying to learn how to grill so we can get ready for our mountain trip and you know be more professional and fluent with it. Kyle's over here YouTubing because we don't know what we're doing. The second time we tried to light this thing, we're supposed to wait till they're gray to do this and they're not getting gray and the fire keeps going out. So we really have no idea what we're doing. We're just, um, noobs of this here you know we're not dads yet so we don't um, grill all the time but we're getting there i may have done the reverse of what i needed to do oh yeah she's ready all right this should be working right here oh shit. What? Good stuff. Right Good there. stuff. Yeah. That is. Hey, here, there. Hey, look, here it's here. That's a nice looking Audi. Yeah, look at that S3. I think she. Yeah, we'll just let it sizzle. Yeah, I love how you just chunk it down. Kind of hot. I don't know if you can tell. If I can tell what? Okay. UPS just delivered me a great present. I mean, great present. It's real great. I'm really happy about it. Super fast service for these things, by the way. I'll show you in a second. I'm just so excited. So here we have the good old vet here. It needed front tires desperately. They were really dry rotted around the outside and they just were like, I think they were, yeah, they're all seasons. But you can see right here, they were just dry rotted and just like all cracked up. And I don't know, I just didn't like that. They have great tread. Like they really have a lot of good tread on them, but it's just, they're old and dry rotted. So we went with some new tires, the Continental Extreme Contact Sports. Had these on the M3. I liked them. I'm probably gonna put another set on the back whenever those tires wear out. They're fine right now. Those are like Pilot Sport Cup 2s. Um, so yeah, these bad boys came in from Tire Rack. I couldn't get them anywhere else. Discount tires couldn't get them to me. Um, there was a couple other tire stores in town. They couldn't get them to me until be like the end of this month. Then I was looking at like the Extreme Contact Forces Continental just came out with it to kind of like compete with the Toyo Triple Eight R, and those were like out of stock back order. Falcon RT Six Sixties were back ordered. And I was just like, geez. And then Michelin PS Fours were on back order, so I was like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? Then so went on Tire Rack and found they had those. I ordered them a day ago. They're sitting on the floor. I couldn't ask for better service on that. It was great. Price was the same. Free shipping. Shipped straight to the shop. It was awesome. Can't complain. I take those things to a local shop here in town, Palmetto Tire. Um, they're like five minutes on the road, maybe 10 minutes, but they put the tires in the X5, use little black wheel weights. Flawless job. Didn't mess the wheel up. Didn't do anything bad. Great job. Great people. Local business. Like support them. So it's where we're going in the morning. Mount these things in the vet. Very excited. As for the good old don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Okay, we're good. Um, good old power joke right here. We are deleting this factory air box. She's gonna be no more. We're taking her away, deleting her, putting just a little short cold air intake on here, Sinister Diesel style. Um, didn't get Sinister Diesel because I don't see a point in paying $400 for the pipe and a filter, and I, I just didn't see a point. So we got one that's similar design to it, and we're gonna install that bad boy right now. Hope this thing flow a lot because it has five inch exhaust all the way out the back. Waiting on the other exhaust to get here to make it go out the back bumper like it's supposed to. Um, this is how the dude put the stack on here. Uh, just for, what is this? Unbelievable. I, I, I don't even want to talk about it. So anyway, right now we're kind of like an axle dump. So we are literally just kind of like dumping like right here where the stack was. So I'm waiting on the other two pieces from MBRP to go ahead and finish this. And I'll put a nice like satin black tip on it. Call it a day. So here she lies in the box. I'll admit this is probably straight from China. But... For the price, it was fine for me. Like I said, it's literally the same design as the Sinister Diesel style and a few other ones. And the price was literally half all, half the difference. Um, it's literally just a pipe and a filter. I might probably, depending on how good I think this filter is, the only thing I can see being wrong is maybe this filter's not very efficient at like filtering air. I mean, it seems fine, we'll see. Maybe swap it out for a K&N one that maybe where the price difference comes in. But I mean, we got a silicone coupler here. It's pretty thick. I don't see anything wrong with that quality wise. Let's open the pipe up here. 
and you just have a gloss black pipe. I mean, it's some simple here. It's not a shiny, it's a little dull, but I mean, literally it's under the hood. It's gonna get dirty anyway. I don't see the big deal. It's nice, seems good. Welds are on that seem very nice. So, yep, yeah, that's what we're going with. Let's go put it on the truck right now. All right, that wasn't that bad. There was some things that I uh, didn't like. Nose fitment right here. I don't like that. That's supposed to be where the freaking IET goes. That definitely needs to be somewhere in line, I feel like, personally, but it didn't have that included. I looked up Sinister Diesel 1. It doesn't have it included either, so maybe that's fine. I don't know. I really don't like that. So probably going to change that, but that's the way the kit was. Came with this bracket that comes down right here. I had to put a big washer under this uh, to pick that up about the thickness of my finger because it would pull it down and then there would be a gap up here so a little bit of fitment issue there but other than that everything looks fine this is fine it's very solid and sturdy the filter seems pretty good for what it is um doesn't seem bad at all it seems actually pretty good so we'll try it and see what happens <laughs> all right we are riding into power joke let's see if we can get you guys some sound from this here intake sounds pretty good Sounds pretty good to me. It's exactly doing what it should do. This is a bit ridiculous, folks. Need a quick jack, 100%. Tires are dismounted on the vet. This is what I was talking about with these things. They are like ruined. They like got a bunch of nicks in them and this one's like kind of wore right here on the inside. You can see like all the dry rot and stuff. Like they had really good tread in the center. So I don't know what the deal is there. I'm having alignment done. So I'm to get these new ones on. But yeah, look at that. That is horrible. No bueno. Back ones are not like that. Back ones are like literally new. Guys, what's up? It's the next rainy morning. We are getting these tires. Going to load them up in the truck over here. That's because we're talking to dad. We're gonna load these bad boys up, get them off the Palmetto tire, get these things mounted, and hopefully get them back today, put them on the car. I can't wait. Let's do it. It's a little rainy today, but that's fine. Needed the rain, I'm sure. We haven't had rain in like a week or two. package we're gonna open it on the rc bench because the toolbox is full of just power stroke stuff and etc very exciting detailed image came in package is in my hand right here good stuff good stuff haven't forgot about rc for anybody asking no i have not forgot about rc i'm still working on all 3d products i'm trying to make more of those i'm looking at a few rcs to buy right now so 
that's not going anywhere. I'm just taking a break. Like I said, dude, I want to do a bunch of stuff. I don't just want to focus on RC. I don't want to focus on cars. Kind of go back and forth between a bunch of different things. Probably around the general vehicle topic, whether it's small vehicle or it's like normal vehicles or something like that. Like, I don't know. I may get back into dirt bikes. I used to race those when I was a kid. But we'll see. I'm just kind of living, guys, and doing whatever makes me happy and helping you guys find the content entertaining and just really going from there. So let's get this box open and see what's in store. And this is what we got here, guys. I bought a bunch of different stuff. Some stuff I needed, some stuff I wanted to try. Definitely needed this. Needed the pads, need another block. They come with the sprayers, that's cool. You should use spares. And then got a ton of microfibers because I was lacking on those. I really needed some, so I'm very excited about all this stuff. It's gonna go into why I got it and kind of what I was doing here. So with this bad boy right here, the GSF Gentle Snow Foam, I am really excited to try this. I did not know how huge the bottle was. This is a 33.8 fluid ounce bottle, but compared to like the 16 ounce car for a bottle, thing's pretty good, pretty good size. So that's cool. Um, Matt has been talking about this, seen a bunch of other detailers and just car enthusiasts that care about watching their cars and stuff, talk about this stuff and say it was really good and they really liked it. So I'm excited to give it a try. I do love my Adams soap, which I believe I have somewhere in here. Yeah, I do love my Adams car shampoo. It smells like blueberries. It's blue. It's my favorite color. So I do really like that stuff, but I don't know. I'm just always wanting to try different things. I always want to try whatever's new out on the market. So this is kind of the new kid on the block from what I can tell. And that's what we're going to try out. I'm really excited to try them. Um, the vet got tires put on pretty exciting, mm, but they chipped one of the wheels when they were putting it on. It's okay. The guy, um, admitted to it. Um, not really, excuse me. The guy didn't really admit to it. He said he didn't realize it happened, but I could tell like they tried to touch it with Sharpie and I wasn't mad or anything. I just wanted the wheel repaired. I knew there was no chips on these wheels. None of them had any of that. And you can't even really chip the wheel if you hit the curb because the rubber sticks over the lip. So anyway, I talked to the manager. Dude was cool, but he gave me his information. Um, they're scheduled to be picked up. This wheel is going to get picked up Monday. They're going to, he said, same blast whole thing, repowder coated. And I'll have the wheel the next day, Tuesday. So that's really cool. I'll show you guys in a second. The tires look sick on here, but that's kind of unfortunate. But it is what it is. It's not just getting fixed. So excuse the dirtiness. They are dirty. It was raining when I was taking them. But right here is where it is. You see more painted flaked off, but there's like Sharpie there. Because you see it's like a bluish purple tint color. So I knew it was tried to touch up, but and then that flaked off too when I was just rubbing it. So that's unfortunate right there. Um, like I said, the wheels really had no nicks other than that one was here. That wasn't there either. So, But they're just going to repowder cut the whole wheel. My only concern is this one's going to be a lot shinier and glossier than the rest of them. Maybe you won't be able to see it. If you do, then I'll just send the other three off, have them powder coated as well. But tires, oh, they look great. Um, really go, really good. They look awesome on here. All right, so I got the wheel back. It's sitting right here up on my little stand right here. I'm about to go polish it. There's a bunch of scratches all over it, especially on the center, probably where they mounted it or something, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna try to get those out. I do notice a couple other spots I'm not happy with. They're like, I don't know if they paint like severely fish-eyed. I thought I told them it was ceramic coated, so they needed to prep it accordingly. But just like on the inside of some parts, I'll show you. So I did wipe the whole thing with um, CarPro Racer, and I'm sure right from here you can tell it. There's white specks all over the freaking wheel. The dude delivered it, and it was really dirty, and I didn't check it. I just, I know this people do good work, so I was like, okay, yeah, no worries. Um, you can see all the scratches there and stuff. Um, like I said, all I did, the, the microfiber's on my shoulder. Like it's a brand new uh, microfiber, and then I soaked the wheel in um, service prep. But um, then there, here's all these scratches in the center. So I'm going to try to polish this out, see if I can polish this stuff out. So I'm going to try to fix it before I reach out to the company and be like, yo, can you please do this again? See if we can polish it out. Hopefully I can. That's my uh, hope here. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, now granted, I know I only used a yellow polishing pad and um, Sonex uh, Perfect Finish in this, but still so those scratches i mean that's fine i can get those out with the microfiber pad but what the heck is all these little like white dots all over the whole thing okay wheel came back from powder coat all was well this time i went ahead and i just coated the whole thing i didn't film it because you guys already know the whole process of that it's just a simple coating of the wheel i can do another one later if you guys like just drop a comment below but 
wheel is back here on the car. Everything's good with it. All the spots are removed. The guy was cool about it. So awesome. Shout out to them, making the customer happy. So here it is. The wheel is good. And, um, it's a little dirty. I've been driving the car, but um, everything is back on. Everything looks good. The wheel doesn't have those little things in it anymore. Um, minus some dirt um, and stuff you can see because uh, it's just dirty. So forgive that. But right there's a pretty good example of it. And everything is good now. I'm happy with it. So that's all that matters. It's actually not shinier than the back one. Like they both look pretty identical. So that was good. I'm going to end this video here, guys. It's been really fun this past week and couple days getting everything done, dialing on the power stroke, getting everything finished. I'm really happy. Hope you guys have an awesome day, awesome night, awesome weekend. Whatever time you're watching this, I hope you guys have an awesome time. Thank you for watching this video. If you did like the video, please leave me a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And then if you really like this content, you like my channel, think about subscribing, hit the notification bell. I promise you won't regret it. It's going to be some awesome content coming up very soon. Stay tuned. We're just getting started.